Will her boyfriend cheat while at work? Loyalty test. Let's see. Hey, hey, what's Hi. up? Good to see so you. nice to meet you. Likewise, likewise. Come on in. Like I said, the cameras okay. are already rolling. We're just Good looking girl. Good looking girl. Likewise, likewise. Come on in. Like I said, the cameras are already rolling. We're just finishing setting everything up. Today, we're placing Brianna's boyfriend, Marco, to a loyalty test. You know what you're saying, right? You got the yeah. practice and you got the notes the there. Practice, everything. The notes. Our decoy Violet will be testing Marco's loyalty. Oh, she's gonna be she's gonna be tested. I was about to say, is this is this his like girlfriend? Loyalty by hitting on him and asking him on a date. Will he remain loyal or will he entertain Violet's advances? Last chance to back out. You want he has a very beautiful girlfriend. I'm not gonna lie, she's very, very beautiful. Come back up. No, 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 we're doing this. We're going up. Good luck. My heart is racing. Nervous? Yeah. What happens if he fails the test? It'll be over. I'll be done with him. Of course. That's really soft. Maybe we can make my ex really jealous. No. That's crazy. You know, my bed's really soft. Maybe we can make my ex really jealous. It's crazy. That is crazy and he's already failing bro i'm say hey instantly instantly if a girl is telling you like if a girl is coming on to you like that and you have a girlfriend hey you better get up off that couch you better tell them hey hey don't stop stop doing that do not do that stop want to go upstairs then let's go oh he took her hand too oh <laughs> bro <laughs> GG's. GG's. Let me also just say, you shouldn't even, like, you shouldn't be doing this neither, though. Like, I, I feel good for the ones where they actually end up catching the, like, the, 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 their partner. Um, because obviously then, like, they know, don't be with this person. But if you feel like you should, like, test your partner's loyalty like this and then publicly, Something is already wrong. My team got in contact with Brianna when we were looking for decoys. You see, she's a model, and we were supposed to hire her to play decoy in another video. Ironically enough, though, during the process, she ended up mentioning, hey, I would be down to test my boyfriend. So we were like, if you're down or down, we could do that instead. So my boyfriend, he has the moving... Got the Lamborghini, like... What is it? Eurus? Eurus? I think it's called Eurus, right? I like that car. I like company, that. Company, mm -hmm. but I feel like he's using... Wait, what we do they have? do that instead. So my boyfriend, he has a moving company, mm -hmm. but I feel like he's using that as an excuse to talk to other girls. He's always telling me that he's at work, he comes home late, mm. he keeps getting texts, like I'll hear his phone ringing, he'll like hide it, he'll go outside. Mm -hmm. My intuition's telling me that he's cheating on me, doing something with and he says It's crazy that he's like... You know, somebody calling him, he has to go outside. That's crazy. What was going on there? He's not outside. Mm -hmm. My intuition's telling me that he's cheating on me, doing something. And so. he says he's not. He says that they're clients. Gotcha. Brianna's boyfriend, Marco, owns a small moving company. He's always working late and communicating with his clients, but Brianna is suspicious. She thinks that he's talking to other girls and using his job as cover. Yeah. I don't okay. want to believe that he's cheating on me, but yeah. a lot of red flags. Yeah, because if the girls that he's talking to, if they're his clients, I feel like he should only be talking to them like two weeks at the very most, maybe. And yeah. then appropriate business hours? Yeah, I've been sure. with him a lot of times, but... <clears throat> He keeps making excuses. He even gave me a promise ring that he wants to marry me. So I'm just confused. Oh, he gave you a he gave you a promise yeah. ring? Yeah. Can we see it? Are you wearing it? No. Well, I'm not wearing it right now. I put it in my purse. Gotcha. So you don't want to put it on until like Because you... he, he says I'm overreacting. I think he's trying to like calm me down. Mm. I want to make sure he's being real. Now this came as a revelation. Apparently Marco had Hey guys, Brianna do you do you, do you think do you think these shows are real? I think they are. I think they are like I really think these shows are real, but let me know in the comments. Like, do you guys do you guys really think this is real or do you think it's staged? I actually think this is real, which is actually pretty crazy. I know it's not an engagement ring, but it's still a big deal. He's basically promising to eventually propose. I don't think you hand those rings out to just anybody, or maybe nah. Margo does. Maybe he's a player on a different level, or maybe Brianna's right. Maybe he just gave her that ring to get her off his ass. Maybe he's such a player that he's gonna give our decoy a promise ring. I doubt it, but it'd be crazy if he does. So as you know, when he comes over, Violet is gonna hit on him. What do you want him to say to her? I just hope that he respects me. Yeah. Behind my back. Is there any like limits to how far? Like, do you want the decoy to like, if yeah. there's an opening, to go all the way through with it, or just kind of like, 
Good how question. Much to mind her, her boundaries. Yeah, yeah, she could. She could go all the way. Whatever. Okay. Whatever she's feeling in the moment. Okay. Go all the way is crazy. That can mean a lot of things. That can mean go all the way, or it can mean like you know, <laughs> go all the way. Okay. Jesus. Don't be nervous. I'm you scared. Gotta, you gotta act okay, like ready? it's your car, so you gotta get comfortable with it. Since Brianna thinks that the girls that Marco talks to aren't really his moving clients, the plan is for Violet to become one of his moving clients. She's a, a pretty girl, ago, too. We had her call him up and ask him to come to her house to give her an estimate on how much he would charge her to help her move. You know what you're saying, right? You got the yeah. practice and you got the notes the there, practice, everything. The notes. We only had one shot at this, so before calling Marco, we called other movie companies for practice, and thank God we did. As it turns out, these companies do but don't like to give in person estimates. They prefer to quote you over the phone or online with an hourly rate or a ballpark price. But that, of course, wasn't going to work for us. We needed Marco to come to this house, which is why we ended up making Violet rich and complicated. All right. Hi, is this? How can I help you? I am calling because I wanted to hire some movers to help me out uh, moving from my house. Yeah, okay, sure. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, your move and your home? Like, yeah, I mean, uh, so stairs, I have, uh, it's a two-story home, 6,000 square feet, four bedrooms, five bathrooms, there's a backyard, a pool, multiple sofas, okay. walk-in closet. There's just, it's a lot. <laughs> Honestly, if you want to make it easier, do you guys do in-person estimates? Um, yeah, I, I can definitely do that. I mean, you can also just send me pictures of the home and I can give you an estimate. He's know. not, ma he's it's not doing anything wrong so far. I you'd get the full sense of like how big the house is. Also, there's like some things I want to keep, some things I don't want to keep. So I, I don't know. I think you should come in person just so it's um, easier. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to lie. If I was like, if I was him, cause so far I don't think he's doing anything wrong. Let me be 100% honest. I, if he has a moving company, I don't think there's anything wrong with him going to check out the house. So far, no red flags. That's just me. But me personally, if she was saying it like that, like twice in a row, like I, I really think you should come to the house. I'm not thinking about like anything like cheating or anything because I don't condone to cheating. That, that's just don't do it, man. Just do not wreck your partner like that. Come on, then break up instead. Guys, I will be scared as cluck. I'll be scared as cluck. I swear to God, I will be like, what? wait, she's trying to kill me. She's definitely like everything. Like, it's obvious. It's obvious. She asked me twice. I don't know her. She asked me twice to come to her home. She's definitely planning on killing me. Who? Who's my enemies? Like, who, who did I piss off? Like, that's that's how I would be thinking. I'm crazy, guys. You can also just <laughs> let me know which items are going to stay. Um, no, I think, I just think it would be easier. It's a lot to explain. As expected, Marco... Oh, yeah, I would think she was going to kill me. luckily for us, money talks. Honestly, I have like a $10,000 budget. I can pay you just to come down on top of whatever I pay for the move. Yeah, she, I would think she's going to kill me. Okay. Yeah, I guess, I could, yeah, that can definitely work. Okay, awesome. Thank um, you so much. Well, well, you might just send me the address then, so that way I can know. Um... And just like that, Violet became Marco's moving client. You guys know what you're doing? You guys know your lines and everything? Yeah. yeah. Kyle, this is your girlfriend for the video. Oh. For the video. I thought it was my one of three every week. <laughs> <laughs> one day, we're going to have to test Kyle's loyalty. Uh-oh, Kyle, you're in trouble. Oh, I see. Just kidding. I bet Kyle is as loyal as they come. Follow him if you agree. Last chance to back out. Do you want to back out? No. We're doing this? We're doing this. I try to stay away from jobs that have, like, kissing involved. I don't want to get him mad or jealous mm -hmm. or disrespect him or nothing like that. Yeah. I assure Respect. him that it's just work. I even invite him on set so that he doesn't have to worry about me lying or anything right. like that. So I'm open and honest about everything that I do. Mm. But with him, it's the opposite. He's more secretive. I think it's important to mention that Brianna isn't the only one suspicious. Uh, see, a lot of a lot of guys would have a would definitely have an issue with with their girls being models and stuff like that. Cause like, you know, like a lot of guys would have a problem with that. But with what she's saying, she refused to like do kissing and stuff like that out of respect for him. And when there is anything, like she invites him to the set with her like so he can be there see everything and they can see him like hey this is my boyfriend like if 
if both parties like really love each other and are okay with that then i can't see anything wrong with that like respect for her definitely like that that's respect man in this relationship martha was also suspicious of her talking to other guys as i said before brianna is a model she gets booked all the time for photo and video shoots you're telling yeah. me the same thing right it's just business i'm just working i just get hired for video shoots photo shoots all this stuff but you're not doing anything with other people or maybe you are no, I'm, just I'm, just no. I'm, I'm loyal <laughs> but i asked him if i could go with him and he'll Sure, tell me no. mm. so, that's a bit weird. So that's a bit weird. The doubts and are telling each other the same exact thing, which makes me wonder who got suspicious first. Dating a model is hard. I would not recommend to date a model or a photographer, but then I'm both. <laughs> okay. I'm not saying anybody's cheating here, but I think it's easier to cheat as a model versus a mover. So maybe Marco got suspicious first. He either said or did things in spite, which then caused Brianna to get suspicious, and now we're here. Do you have the promise ring with you? You said you brought yeah. it. Can I see it? Is it okay? Is that cool? Yeah, is that yeah, fun? I can see it. But then again, maybe Marco really is a loyal man, and he gave Brianna a promise ring to try to prove that to her. Oh, da oh, damn. Oh, wow. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. I know. Damn, that's actually pretty nice. Is it real, like diamonds and everything? Yeah, it's real, it's real diamonds. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be Aww. just like a regular ring and so like a little band and everything. Like, I thought, no. no. Look at this. But that is yo. nice. If this is real, this is a ton of money to spend just to get somebody off your back. I found something comparable online between five hundred and thousand bucks. So maybe Marco's loyal and maybe he's not gonna cheat. But then again, maybe the ring's not even real and he just told her that it was. I think he loves me, but I also think he's a f player. I think he wants both, but hopefully I'm that just dramatic. doesn't work. That just doesn't work. Hello? Oh, she's on her phone. She's on her phone. I think he's here. Okay, I'm gonna come out and help you. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's here. Marco had arrived, which meant that this test was now in full swing. Marco? Oh. Hey, yeah, Violet, nice to meet you. Oh, here we go. Thank you for making the trip. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. Yeah, okay. it wasn't too bad. Yeah, I did actually leave uh, like my purse. I think it might be in my car. So I'm gonna check yeah, really yeah, no, quickly. Cool. Yeah. Violet is pretending to have left her purse in her very expensive car. And apparently, as she looks for it, Marco's eyes wander. He's looking at her butt. <laughs> to be fair, for all we know, Marco could just be checking out the Lamborghini. What? I will also say, like, am I saying, hey, go look at a, a girl's butt? No, I'm not saying that. But I'm just saying, in my eyes, that does not mean that he's cheating. Now, will a lot of girls probably get on my back for that? Probably. Go ahead. I don't think that's cheating. Let's give this man the benefit of the doubt. Let's not label him a dog just yet. He's he just check her butt. He definitely was checking on the least the skirt. He looks mesmerized. Oh, this car's so big. Okay, 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 okay. Like, it, I mean, like, when I'm saying it, I mean, like, if you look, you see a butt, and you're like, oh, nice, and you keep walking. Like, if you just notice it. I'm not talking about, like, standing there obsessed, like, you know, drooling, and like, nah, 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 dude. No, 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 you're doing too much, bro. Too much. Oh, the color, yeah. Have you ever been in one? You haven't? Do you want to go in? Um, sure. Okay, yeah. I can show you. You can go on that side. I'll show you. Yeah, yeah. I don't see my purse. It's fine. Violet can't seem to find her purse, but that's all part of the plan. It'll come up again later, so don't forget about it. I don't know how I feel like if I just had my partner go into a random car with someone that they just met. That is, that is also a bit, uh, but I mean, it's a, Lambo, it's a Lamborghini like yours. I do understand if he's like, oh, I would like to sit in the passenger seat, but if, it has to just be that. Like, I'm in the passenger seat now. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is nice. All right, let's get, let's go out. Let's get to business. Moving business. Yeah. Violet got Marco here by pretending to be rich. This house and Kyle's Lamborghini are definitely reinforcing that. But Marco is here on business, so in order for Violet to make her move, we've got to start tearing down the professionalism. Which is why Violet invited him to check out the car and will invite him to do more later on. She needs to be Marco's most laid back and chill customer ever. What, what yeah. do you do for a living? I do you know like I mean? modeling, content creation, like that type of stuff. Oh, okay. So yeah, like yeah. A specific side or. Um, or what do you mean by like a site? <laughs> After a bit he... more small talk, Violet... Wait, did he just ask her if she's a porn ac actress? Is he like, oh, so what's that, like, Pornhub, uh, Red 2, like, X... <clears throat> no, is that, is, that, is that not what he asked her at all? Is that, is that not at all what he... Okay. Um, what do you uh, mean by, like, a site? <laughs> okay. After a bit more small talk, Violet eventually starts bringing Marco inside. 
I just thought it looks like more sporty, kind of. It does look good. Yeah. Come over here. This is the house. So we're just pretty much waiting here until we're, we're supposed to just get our get our ring in from Sergio. You come out here often. I'm like confused to as what 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 are their part in all of this again? Like what what are they doing? Like these two. I've, I completely missed what their roles are here. here until we're, we're supposed to just get our, get our ring in from Sergio. Except for the fact that they're supposed to be together. Um, I mean, only when I have a job. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, what area are you in? Anaheim. Oh, okay, okay. So Huntington's yeah. closer there. So this yeah. is the house. Nice. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. That's yeah. nice. Thank you. Yeah. It's nice. I'm going to be moving soon because my boyfriend's and I broke up, so... Oh. This is technically, it's technically his house, but everything in it is mine. Okay. So there's a lot of stuff that needs to go. Like when I came here first, nothing was furnished. I had to buy everything for the house. It's so. A, hey, you chose well. <laughs> thank you, yeah. I don't know, I feel like he was kind of insecure because like I would always buy stuff and whatnot. So I think he just kind of like, you know what I mean? Okay. I think he was just a little insecure because oh. I made more money than him, but. Some men can be like that. Yeah, I think that's kind of what led to us breaking up a little, but yeah. Um, let's go ahead, look around. Yeah. Violet's moving out because she just broke up with her boyfriend. She gives Marco careful instructions on what she'll be taking from the house. The wood is really delicate, so if you could wrap it as well. Do you want me to disassemble it? Yeah, I can disassemble or... it, or if no, you want I, I to. Can get it done. This sofa is mine. This is this mine. This is a nice That's house. Mine. TV, wrap it up, please. What do you think he's thinking right now? What happened? What do you think he's thinking right now? Despite the leash is hot. <laughs> hey, 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 that's also like, hey, calm down a bit. Like, right now they're actually doing business. Like, I don't know what he's thinking, but like, he could also not be thinking that. You don't think that he's thinking like, this lady's kind of weird because she wants to leave this, take that, and she's going through like an emotional breakup right now? I don't know. <laughs> um, this one is pretty heavy. Do you think you're gonna, is it gonna just you? Or... No, I'll probably get a couple of guys. Okay, I mean, you look pretty strong, so. Thank you. <laughs> um, and then you can take all this right here. Let's leave I the rug. I do work out a lot. I'm serious. Watch your step, it's a little slippery. Me too. Remember guys, being a complicated customer was partially how we got Marco to the house. Hopefully we don't annoy him though. Our goal is to continue breaking the professionalism down. Definitely want to keep the bed. It's literally the softest bed ever. You should feel it. It's really nice. <laughs> yeah, it is. And then... I don't think that we should have chairs in the freaking rooms. Because <laughs> now, like, I want to see. Violet completes her tour of three or four bedrooms upstairs. She's telling him that this room is supposedly her ex's room, and that's why they're not going to go in it. Everything in there is his. Okay. So, need just, that room. yeah, you don't... Okay. It's infected. No, I'm just kidding. Um, there's a lot, so... Oh, oh. that must be so nerve-wracking. I forgot the fact that they're in the house. Like, the reason they're not going in there is because, like, his actual girlfriend and the, like, host of the show is sitting in there. I I forgot that. Yo, it must be so terrifying sitting in there, actually. How long have you been doing this? Like, four years. Nice, nice. I'm glad I'm in good hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just have one more room over here. <laughs> the tour is almost done, but in order for Marco to give Violet a solid quote, he needs to know the address to her new house in order to calculate his travel costs. As planned, though, Violet has withheld that information from him. There was no new house. Oh, we just needed oh, a reason to wait. keep Marco there. Oh, no. No. All right, there we go. I'm so sorry about that. My battery died, there, but we're right. back. Withheld that information from him. There was no new house. We just needed a reason to keep Marco there. I kind of was expecting a lot more stuff, but... Oh, yeah, that's no, good. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Pretty okay, good nice, nice. Yeah, I just need the address for the new place. Yes, just looking at the house right now, I would say like maybe 6,500, but with... Depending. Oh! Oh, that's, no, so that's, that's without the address though. No, yeah, that's yeah. way less than I thought it would be, so it's fine. Yeah, so um, I mean, once I get yeah. the address, then I can give you like a solid estimate of how Okay, be yeah, there. um, let me text my realtor. She's usually pretty responsive, so she'll get back to me pretty soon. Okay. Um, and then I can give you the address and we can finish the estimate. But you can just, you can just sit over there. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, 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 do you want anything to drink? Um. I have wine, water. Uh, I'll take some water. Water? Yeah. Hey, you so far he's wine? doing good, I'm not gonna uh, lie. I'm good. Are you sure? I'm sure. Sorry. Okay. So far, how do you think he's Oh, yeah, nah, he's doing he's good so far. professional, but we're going to find out. Yeah, hopefully he stays professional. <laughs> <laughs> she closed the wine.
like tell her door alarm. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but I was gonna ask for your help actually. So I uh, look like she's just she's not and I get her. I get her. This must be so like nerve wracking. But like she's just not like he's laughing and stuff. She's just there focused. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but I was gonna ask for your help actually. I don't know how yeah. to open this. Could you do it for me? Thank you. Here's the opener. You have really nice arms. Thank you. Do you go to the gym a lot? Every day. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, damn. I just texted the realtor. She said she'll be here in about mm. five minutes. So. Oh, that's the road. She'll text. She'll send me the address in about okay, five minutes. Okay. Yeah. As Violet waits for a realtor to text her the address to her new home, she makes a glass of wine for herself and for Marco. He was already hesitant in having some, which is a good thing. Again, we're just trying to make Violet his most chill and laid back customer. Am yeah. I like the hardest client you've had? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. I definitely have one. Alrighty, Kyle. Go ahead and make your entrance. Over. Okay, sounds good. If you have these new, like, the general location, I could just give you this. I haven't, like, been to it, but my realtor, she knows me pretty well. She knows what I like, so. So you just got a new place. Mm hmm Oh! Never seen Is he the ex-boyfriend? And then he comes with his new girlfriend, and then that's what makes her, like, okay, hey, you, you want to make him jealous? That could be. That could be. I mean, I, if I don't like it, I can just get a different one. Wow, okay. okay. What that's did what he I say? Like, so. I haven't like been to it. Wait, wait, wait. Most chill and laid back. Let customer. me see. Am I like the hardest client you've had? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. I definitely have one. Alrighty, Kyle. Go ahead and make your entrance. Over. Okay, sounds good. If you have these new like the general location, I could just give you this. I haven't like been to it, but my realtor she knows me pretty well. She knows what I like. So. So you just got a new place. Mm hmm That you've never seen in person. I mean, Crazy. I, if I don't like it, I can just get a different one. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean... All right, here goes Kaya. I'm just gonna wait for her, but just because I don't wanna, you know. No, 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 that's fine. You should try some, though. I know you said you don't really drink, but it's, like, really... It's really good. Sure. I thought I'd try it. No! He's drinking with He's her. He started drinking the wine. That's... Okay. That's... That's not good. That's... You should not do that. You're... You're... You're working right now. That's... You should... You should not do that. Oh, she's pissed. She's fuming. You should not do that. Try it. He's drinking with He's her. Yeah. Drinking the wine. Okay, this isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it does mean that Marco is getting comfortable. We truly were yeah. breaking down the professionalism between them. I don't really drink wine. I'm more of a dark alcohol. I'll get you something you like next time. Oh. <laughs> Marco doesn't know it. Next but time is crazy. Move, we just needed the nail in the coffin for her to go all the way. That, of course, is where Kyle and Julia come in. Can you stop living your in my car? What are you doing here? Remember the purse that Violet was looking for at the beginning of the test? Well, as it turns out, she left it in her ex-boyfriend's car. You know, the ex that she told Marco all about. I told you I did not want to see you anymore. That's great. You can get the f out. What does it look like I'm trying to do, Kyle? Damn, Kyle plays a good asshole. <laughs> I don't see movers anywhere. Is he possibly a mover? Excuse you. This is my new man. His name's Marco. Oh, Marco. Oh, wow. So that's you move on from me to that? He actually works out. <laughs> <laughs> I get Kyle was being a dick to Violet, but that was his role. Why did she have to come after him like that, though? I will have you know, my man's Kyle uh -huh. is a stud. He's just too busy making all this money to... She said, though, this is my new man. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. I know he's probably just trying to be nice here. I'm, I'm not saying I want to throw anybody under the bus, but m my partner is not like... Nah, 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 nah. Hell no. I'm not your new man. I'm the mover. He just asked his sister. I would have cut him off right there and be like, oh, hell yeah, I'm the new mover. I'm moving her stuff out. We're doing business right now. I'm not, I'm not, you're not about to call me your new man if, if I have a partner. No. Hit that gym. <laughs> My man's is Hercules. He could go back to being Hercules whenever he wants to. But take your pay less ass purse out my Why the was my bag in your car? Did one of your things take my into your car? You're getting mad because he chose me over you. I have my own. I moved on. I upgraded. I have Marco. You're the third girl I've seen this. Crazy. So just... what, we gotta go before us. Exactly. Back. Please be out by next You're week. <laughs> okay, thing number get two. Your, get your head out of here. Three, four, five. That's crazy he too. like a new girl here every day. 
sorry. I'm so sorry. No, oh my god. You're good. I did not mean to like bring you into that. Oh my gosh. So funny. It's my I mean, ex, so. Oh, uh, I'm I, sure you I can, can see tell. why he's an ex. Kyle, he plays a good ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you think is gonna happen? I think he's gonna go for it. I think he's gonna. He's failing. I don't know. He was kind of, kind of passive in there. We had no idea what Marco thought of all this, but you guys get what we were going for, right? I literally just met you and I made you pretend to be my boyfriend. Oh, that's <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll admit that's the first. I mean, I would anyway, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I don't know. He's just always doing that. Like he's such a dick. He always comes in here. Like Marco a new girl is trying to make me jealous or whatever. I don't even know. Marco, like, you gotta stop this. I mean, it doesn't really make me jealous. I just get more annoyed seeing him. I mean, you saw how he threw that purse at me. Yeah. Like, who does that? We have well, some it's issues. Well, you're leaving, though. Yeah, I mean, I know I was, like, joking with him about that, but honestly, like, he do kind of seem like that type. Uh, Marco. Marco. This was it. After a very long and elaborate test, the moment of truth had arrived. It was time to see if Marco would remain loyal. I know I was, like, joking with him about that, but honestly, like, he do kind of seem like my type. You know, muscular. <laughs> yeah. Marco. So like, how many more hints should I drop for you to realize I'm trying to get you to ask me out? Marco, okay. Marco. <laughs> Marco. Um, would you want to go out? Yeah, I mean, if you wanted to. <laughs> Damn, okay. That's cool. Why is that, how's that cold? I don't know, it kind of seems like you're Like what? I don't know, like using me as a rebound? No, no, you're like, like you're typically the kind of guy I would go Marco, for. Marco, 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 you already messed up, my guy. You already messed up. You haven't said no. You haven't said no yet. You're supposed to instantly be like, hey, listen, I'm I'm sorry about like you and, and the situation you're in. I'm not sorry about you. Don't get me wrong here. But like the situation you're in, he did seem like a prick. I'm, hey, it's good. It's a good thing that you're moving, just like you said, Marco. But I have a girlfriend. Um, I already have a girlfriend. I can't. I can't do that. Uh, but I will, however, help you move your stuff. Like let's let's get this figured out and get you out of here as fast as possible. Yeah. Um, your realtor. Like when will she be writing? Like let's figure this out so you can move on. Cause like I have I have my own thing going on. You know. I I ain't even trying to do all of that. Like Marco, that's what you need to be doing. You no, no, you're like, like, you're typically the kind of guy I would go for. Like, honestly, he's not even my type. Like, I don't know, I find you attractive and I'd like actually want to get to know you. <laughs> if you Marco! You to to. <laughs> um, Mark, depends. Yeah, I mean, if I was just trying to make him jealous, would you mind? Yeah, Marco! Well, Maybe like, you know, do more to make him jealous. Okay. Like, would you mind? Oh Lord. I think it'd be cool. Yeah. Oh, oh hell no. Nah. Yeah. I would probably go with whatever. I mean, if that's the end goal. Yeah, I mean. Do you, uh, have, do you have like a? You don't have a girlfriend, right? Or, no, I actually don't. Have you don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> no. Marco! Marco, what are you doing? Marco! Oh, I gotta see. Marco, no! Mar- Oh, hell no! You definitely don't have a girlfriend now, brother! You definitely don't have a girlfriend now, bro! Oh, Lord! Marco, no! Why are you going- What is- Mark. What the f- what the clock is wrong with you, bro? What? Oh, nah. Oh, poor girl. Oh, no. No. Oh, no, hell no. Oh, no. Well, and she's pretty, too. Case, would you maybe want to go out sometime? Yeah, we could do that. Oh, yeah. crazy. Marco, you crazy. Well, I mean, it is my business. I can be off whenever. I can mm. just say. Someone else. Yeah, well, I mean, maybe we can, you know, do something. Do you want to maybe go upstairs then? 
crazy. Right. Really? Yeah, we can go right now. And, um, do what exactly? Make my ex really jealous. No. How so? Mm, you know, the bed's really soft. I was telling you earlier. Maybe we can. Oh, Maka, you dirty mother clogger. You dirty mother clogger. You just want her to tell her, uh, tell you, huh? You want to know exactly what she's about to do. She, you want to know exactly what you're about to do to her. You, not knowing your girlfriend, your partner, is watching you in the same house. You're crazy for this, Marco. I tried to save you. I tried to tell you. I tried to tell you. Marco, stop. Stop what you're doing. But no. Go from there, if you know what I mean. I think that's a good place to start. Yeah. Crazy. Do you think that hooking up would make him jealous. <laughs> I mean, definitely. Yeah. Man, yeah. Marco, why do you have to do this to all of us? This is why everybody's talking about men being like a holes and all of that. Why do you have to do this? Hey, girls, any girl, female watching right now, we're not all like this. We are not all like this. I'll pray somebody someday, someday I'll probably get a bit like pissed. Cause like, really, that's, that's, that's how little you have. Like, that's the faith you have in me really. But at the same time, I kind of do wish somebody like, like puts me through this test someday. Cause I will, I will. And I speak for all men out there. I will show any female. That there are still loyal people out there. I don't care. Someday I hope I'm being put through a test like this. And I will stand up for all men. All men. Mm -hmm. With God by my side. And God said. Do not have sex with your neighbor. That does not mean that you can have sex with someone that lives in another town. No Marco no. Go. Come really? Yeah come on. Let's go. No. Crazy. He's really doing this to me. This was crazy yeah. on so many levels. Okay. Oh, okay, you poor right. thing. Oh. Not only did Marco deny having a girlfriend, not only did he agree to go out with Violet, he also agreed to make Violet's boyfriend jealous on the soft bed in the room. I think we all know what that freaking means. Come on. Oh, yeah. Is she actually going to take him upstairs? For a guy who said he didn't like wine, Marco was chugging it. He knew what he was getting into. He was getting ready. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, let me clean this up, actually. Yeah, yeah. I'm go oh, that. you're about to have Sorry. a bad day, mate. You're about to have a bad day. I think she's stalling. Do you want to yeah. see if he actually goes into the room? Bad day. She's stalling right now. So you can go down there and confront him right now, or you can see if she actually takes him into the room. But I think you got to decide, like, right now. If you guys recall, Brianna was asked how far Violet should take things. She could go all the way, whatever she's feeling in the moment. Uh, I didn't think she would actually do it, but Violet was going all the way. So what do you think you want? You want to? Because you could go downstairs right now. But if you want to go to the room, I could possibly. No, run to no, the room let's wait, let's right wait. Yeah. I want to. I want to see, I wanna, I wanna the see them in the room. Do you want me to set up a camera? Okay. I'm pretty sure Violet. He's was going out there. She was waiting for us to come downstairs and confront Marco. So we ended up texting her that we were going to keep things going and which room to take him to. I then used my stealthy ninja skills to set up a camera in the bedroom with the quote unquote socked bed. Now I had no idea where to set up. That this must camera. be scary. Marco had been in the room before, so moving things around could make him suspicious. Eventually, though, I decided to just hide it under the curtain. It wasn't our best work, but it was enough. I'm pretty sure they would just walk up here for a couple of minutes. Oh no, nah, no, nah, that's, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's extremely bad. That's extremely bad. You gotta be able to do something better than that, mate. I, like that's that's oh lord. Put this back in the wine cellar. So putting it back in the oh, cellar. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! I don't know. It's always been a weird door. Let's go I got it. Oh, thank you. My dude is taking <laughs> his shoes on and off. Just bro, leave the shoes. Ah. Uh, that's really soft. You know, that's why I have to test it out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was the best place to put the camera or not, but we just put it there. Hell no. Call, and we weren't going to be able to see the footage in real time, but the mission was accomplished. Um, I'm going to change into something more comfortable. So I'm going to go do that. I'll be back. Thank you so comfortable. That would, that would throw me off. Like, let's say I would be an a hole like this dude. If you're about to leave the room now, be like, I'll be right back. I'm that nah, something is up. 
what, what is you leaving for? Like, but remember, I'm the same person that would have thought she wanted to kill me. So like, yeah. Sure, for sure. <laughs> just give me a second. I'm gonna go change into something more comfortable. So you should, you know, take, you know, take that off. Make yourself comfortable. I'll be back. Mm -hmm. I'll be here. Nah, that's sus. That's <laughs> sus. Ain't no way I'm trusting. Ain't no way I'm trusting that. Poor girl. Make himself comfortable. Kind of like taking off his clothes. What? Is he taking off his clothes? Yeah, I think so. No way. Oh my god. You want Yeah, I can't take this anymore. He was not acting like he had a girlfriend. Alrighty, Kyle. We're going in for the conversation, bro. You can come up. Over. Over. Oh wait, I need a promise screen. Can you give him his crash back? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> And with that, Marco had drastically failed this test. Brianna made her way to confront her potentially naked boyfriend. I hope you guys have your talkies for this one. Because you guys already know. Crazy, Marco. Crazy, you deserve this shit. Oh, I have to bleep that out. I probably will forget, though. Marco, what the f are you doing? What the f are you doing in bed with your client? The f was that? What the I just caught you red-handed on camera. Now everybody knows you're a f man whore, a lying piece of sh**. What the f do you have to say to yourself? You can't now you f this sh Oh, you made me swear. You, just you made me swear. Color. What the? F I didn't do sh Here's your. I don't want it. Come on, me. It's a f in my present. No, no, no. Garbage. Take your. Crash. Are you so serious, bro? Everything was basically all a test. The truth is, like, none of this was real. We just were helping Brianna find out, like, if you would say low to her or not. She had her doubts. She had her concerns about oh, you. Man. Violet doesn't really live here. This isn't her house. She was just pretending to like be into and all that. Again, How we're many just other Brianna. clients have you been? No. Oh my, are you serious? You're gonna throw all of this over her? I don't even. She was the one who. Offered me the that does not matter. Someone who's trying to get me drunk. You kissed her. Me... You denied our relationship. I didn't even been kiss lying her. this whole time. I didn't kiss her. You asked her for a As if that matters, bro. I didn't you were getting As if that matters. What the f do you have to say for yourself? There's nothing for you to explain. You just no, showed please, your true on. color. You're gonna throw all of this, everything we have over this. Oh. Yes, we're done. I was loyal to you. You're the one that was going behind my back cheating. Clients. How many other clients have you been? F How many other none, girls is there? None. I, I promise you, none. Okay. You're a f liar. You're a lying piece of. Sh Get the f out of here. I can't stand fine. you. No, it's I, over. I, I, it's I, over. I, I, okay. Bye. Bye. Get the f out of here. No, 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 it's fine, over. Fine, we're fine. done. F it. We're done then. You're a pathetic fine. piece of. I'm garbage. Leaving. Man whore. Leave me. Oh. Out of here. Wow, that was a direct hit, not once, but twice. First, with the slap, which I gotta cut away from because you know, YouTube. And second, was that flawless chancla throw. Ooh. I mean, she, she, she's got that in her jeans. Of course, that's gonna hit. The chancla don't miss. She really threw the chancla. Oh, I was not expecting all that, but he was way too eager. I think he was trying to ask me if I had an OnlyFans earlier. He was like, I was like, oh, I do modeling, content creation, whatever. And he's like, when I was saying oh, porn. like subscription based. I'm not surprised. Those eyes were worshiping. Like he could be number one donator. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need that cash anymore. You Hell no. no. You can do. You can do so much better. You're gorgeous. I don't know what he was thinking. He's in Delulu land. I don't Focus on you and then just see where things go naturally. You may find the right person just at work one day. Just randomly and might run into them. Anything's better than someone who acts like that. Like Facts. He embarrassed himself. Like, he did this to himself. You know what I mean? Like, <sighs> yeah. Oh, you poor thing, honestly. Because, like, this is, this is definitely going to, like... Oh, wait, man. like, look at her. She's obviously hurt. No... no of course she's hurt, but like, it's going to be hard for her to trust someone else now because 
douchebags like you, Marco, makes us seem like we can't be trusted whatsoever. Poor girl. She's a gorgeous girl. Beautiful, beautiful girl. Um, yeah, I wish her. I wish her the very best. Uh, I truly, truly pray that she will find the right one for her because he was definitely not it. But hey, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this. I usually do music reactions, but if you do enjoy content like this and want me to like, I'm never gonna stop the music. But if you want me to also post stuff like this, let me know in the comments. And hey, if you want to subscribe to the channel, you would help me out a ton. There's like a yellow square thing in the bottom, like in the in the bottom, in the bottom at the like, wait, at the right side of the screen right now. Yeah, if you click that, you're subscribed. If you like the video, then you help me out a ton. And as I said, let me know if you want me to react to more videos like this. Like, let me know in the comments. And hey, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you're safe, stay blessed. And hey, until next time. Bye.